YouTube, today a new video on how to export your beats. Knowing how to export your beats is a vital skill of a producer because you can make the best beats in the world, but if you don't know how to export it properly, the whole beat is basically worthless. So let's get straight into this tutorial. So if you join me on my screen, I'm gonna let y'all listen to the beat first so y'all have an idea of the beat we're exporting. So as you can see, it's a real chill beat. And as y'all can see on my mastering, I have an EQ, but I didn't do anything to the EQ. But what's really important in here is that I have a soft clipper, really, that's what it is, and a, a limiter. So what a soft clipper does is it takes your volume and it kind of squashes it all together in a naturally sounding way. And then you have a limiter and your limiter is very important because it make and the soft clipper does the exact same thing it makes sure that your volumes don't hit too loud it doesn't hit above zero because when you go above zero you get like clipping you know the clipping sound can be cool but you need to emulate this with the soft clipper not with your master it it it's, it, it will fuck up the sound basically so i'm going to let y'all have a listen to it from here you see, it's beautifully hitting. You can see it right here. So when the volume is like, the, the soft clipper is like softly changing the sound and the limiter is uh, doing its, its job. That is what will work for you most of the time. So I'm gonna export the beat right now. What I will do is I will select the length of the beat I wanna export and then I hit Control Shift R in Ableton. By the way, for FL Studio or Logic, this will be the same terms, it, it, it won't be different. So let's go from the top. You can export your master. That's what uh, will, will work for you most of the times. It will take all your tracks and put it into one audio file. In this part of the exporting screen, we don't really need to do something because we already selected the length of the beat we wanted to export. But then here is where things get interesting. We can render it as a loop. So what it will do is if we have a loop selected, I will show how to do that. You take, uh, you select a part of your beat, you press Control L. Now you're looping one section at the end. It will just start from the beginning of the loop. So what this will do is it will take the reverb tail at the end and it will use it at the beginning. It will be more natural, if you will, uh, when you do it like this. But that's not what you will do most of the time. So I'm gonna reselect the parts we wanna export. Convert to mono, this kind of speaks for itself. It will uh, take your beats in stereo and convert it to mono, but that's not really what we're going for here. Normalizing will take the point with the highest volume and use that as the loudest part of the beat. So basically all your volumes will be uh, put off. So that's also not what we want. Create analysis file. It's uh, a file that will contain information uh, of like faulty parts in the export, but I turn it off because it gets a mess really quickly and you don't really need it. Uh, other DAWs won't export analysis files. So your sample rate, I just do 44, 100. It's important though that it's the same hertz as you are working in, in your project. Encode PCM is just uh, if you want to encode like a, a high quality file. So uh, that's what you, you will be going for in most cases. So yeah, wave, wave will be pretty standard. Most DAWs will accept this file too, that's important. The bit depth, it will affect the quality of your beat. 16 bit is like CD standard, so it's 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 already pretty good. But I go with uh, 24 because it's like a little more high quality, and uh, 32 you can do also, but it takes up a lot more disk space. So I don't really need it. Most of you won't really need it, so I just leave it at 24. Like damn, I had to restart the camera because the battery. Uh Died. Now, dithering options is like, basically it's just really advanced stuff. Mastering engineers will use this. By default, it will be on triangular, I bet, but I just leave it off. It could affect the sound of your export if you were like clipping really hard, I think, but just leave it off. Then uh, encode MP3, 
it speaks for itself it just exports the mp3 file now what's important to know is that mp3 files they take up a lot less space than a WAV file so if you want to export your beats in mp3 you can go ahead and leave this off but i just export waves so upload audio to soundcloud speaks for itself it will directly upload your audio to soundcloud i don't really use it so it's off uh, by default create video you can use it if you use videos in your projects so that's it for today i hope you learned a lot from this video and that you now can export your beats really well if you have suggestions for other videos you can always leave them down below i will check them i'm out